Now, the big news, though, the big news, we have the schedules because oh, yeah. we have a, a, oh, yeah. a little over 15 minutes until things kick off. Um, so let me pull those up over on this screen uh, real quick here. But uh, as far as opening week, I, I mean, I have my fa- the game I'm looking forward to the most. I think it's probably the one you're looking forward to the most. I could be wrong, but thoughts? Well, I mean... If you're talking opening week, it's definitely what spring, the one that Springstock. Well, that's up is that's a open. good point. You're right. So, Springstock, April you know. 16th. The party's in the parking lot. Come and join us. Speaking of, we, so we're doing the giveaway today. We're going to have those two hats. We didn't mention we're going to have that replica uh, LA Express jersey, Steve, Steve Young. Young jersey. Mm-hmm. And that's going to be, we're going to do giveaways, for, give, giveaways. We're doing giveaways. <laughs> For both uh, the people in uh, in the parking lot. So if you show up to Springstock, we got giveaways there, but we get it. Not everybody can make it out to Birmingham, Alabama. So we're going to have some exclusive giveaways for the live stream as well. And that's already over on our YouTube channel. So set the reminder today, April 16th. But April 16th, that's the opening day. So the, that, that's, your, that's the one you're most excited for. That well, seems to be well, I, I, the one I, online too. I know which... Yeah, I mean, that, that one just for the how much they're pumping mm. it up, I guess. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, uh, you know, I I know which other one I think you were referencing, and that uh, pertains to this very show <laughs> we get to discuss. Uh, you, know, you know, I've been joking about this, and I don't know. It might be coming closer to a reality, and I think it comes down, at least for me, April 17th, 12 p.m. Eastern, Houston versus Michigan. The gamblers and mm-hmm. the Panthers, and I—I I mean, I hate to be that guy. I—I'll be honest with you, Zach. I've never been that guy, and I've always been the guy to shun people that are do, that do what I'm about to say. I might do. Okay, it might come down to that game. If if the gamblers get shellacked like a good walloping by the Panthers, it's going to be hard because I'm telling you. And this is no joke. There's no curtains. I'm not even trying to like make a story or a character or anything about it. Oh, I, I see what's there's going on. There's something. Here. You keep going. There's but something the whole time, deep down inside, that ju- it just it feels wrong not to support the Michigan team. Now I thought that might happen, <laughs> but I also had the I, I also thought that maybe that wouldn't happen because I'm here in Houston. And generally, like with the Lions, I grew up with the Lions, but still, there's something in me that it just doesn't feel right. Now, I'm the, so Arden, Arden USFL on Twitter, mm-hmm. he's in our Discord, recently made him a moderator. He, he went ahead, he changed my role <laughs> to the Panthers. <laughs> And I don't. I didn't change it back. I, did, I didn't change it back. So I don't know where I sit, guys. I think it comes down to week one, and that is the worst. That's that's like worst fan status. I get it. I'm that guy right now. The the the, the wishy washy. Oh. You know, I got the back pocket bandwagon ready to go. You know, I, I look. Just I mean, if you haven't clarified yet, or folks don't know yet, like. I mean, you grew up near Detroit or in the Detroit area, metro area, and you you're down near Houston, so you got you have some ties back to both. I get it, you know, but man, it does make it harder if you go into the season oh, and you it, flip. In no, the it's season. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's the thing. It, it, if like it's final decision after game one. If if like if, and here's the thing. Okay. He, and, oh man, this is gonna <laughs> this is gonna haunt me. I know it, but scouts on her. <laughs> Even if, even if the gamblers just give them the what for, like, and beat them like seventy to nothing, and then somehow lose the rest of the games, I'm on gamblers bandwagon hunt. I will not be flipping back. I won't do it. I can't do it. But again, that almost makes me like. Then the part inside of me is like, well, then you better do. You better switch to the Panthers now because if you're stuck, you're stuck, and you know, like, there's this. Right. It's like the devil and the angel on on the shoulders you know they're like you know you want to do it but you which, don't even live there you see know? which which is which though i feel like uh <laughs> i feel like if you're talking to our den which by the way i find that that's that's a little that's kind of funny to me how he switched to role <laughs> it's just because he he also manages the uh, michigan panthers discord similar deal so it's like all michigan all the time jeff fisher effect let's go <laughs> let's hunt you know all that type of stuff <laughs> 
<laughs> so that's good. That, that's sure. good. Um, I, I think to me, because I'm the Panthers fan here, I'm saying the angel is the Panther, the devil's the gambler. It also, you know, gambling, you know, another <laughs> type of sin type of thing to some. That does kind of make sense. Yeah. That does work out. Now, we, we do see something interesting with the schedule here. And some pan, I think sure. some fans were taken aback a little bit. But we only have the specific team scheduled out for the first two weeks. Now, we recently joined fo- uh, Pro Football Alliance. Actually, you did, and I hijacked it. That was my bad. Yeah, hang on. <laughs> I, I jumped in, coattails were grabbed, and somehow... I went, how did he get here? Well, they said they were taking <laughs> callers. And I'm, oh, no yes, joke. And yes, I said, well, course. you know what? I, th- I thought it would be funny to call in. I thought it would be funny, like, just unannounced, like, be on the other line. That is on them. No, th- you may have heard me. I did not hear anything on that phone. I'm recording it for evidence next time. But anyway, yeah, I totally hijacked your spot. It was too, it was super fun though. It was super fun. It was. It was uh, a good time. I, I had a great time with with Dirty and A Train there. So that was good. That was good. <laughs> but the one thing I pointed out, the one thing I really like about this is it adds another element of competition on that week to week basis, right? You're gonna see some of these teams bounce in and out of that primetime spot. And I'm telling you, if I'm a Jordan Te'amu, I want to be on either Fox or NBC. Nothing against USA or Fox Sports 1, but let's be honest here. What are the games that they're going to want to be on that 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 good good spot where everybody's watching? How many how many people you think will be disappointed if they're a player? Not to say that they would be disappointed because they're playing in this league and they're probably be happy for it no matter what, but secret back, back of the mind type of thing, you go... So folks, go to the go to the parents. Guys, I'm playing on Peacock. Right. What's Peacock? Uh well, let me tell you, I need to go in and explain the whole streaming service. It's not like it's I, I just four games. Mm-hmm. Like it's only four. Be, you have to be it's only four. Ones. Only four. And I'll say this. I think I think people aren't people know what streaming apps are now, but I, I will say Peacock is one of the it's a newer one. I don't get the Peacock hate. I actually like Peacock. I I use it every night. My my wife watches The Office, so they have The Office, so we have Peacock. See, I haven't used it enough of the free mm-hmm. version, and the only thing I've used it for uh, pretty much to its degree is there's a Bob Ross channel <laughs> that's on it where you can just basically – it's like jazz music. It plays Bob Ross on repeat, and then it has a background where it's like the pretty, the happy trees and mountainscape like one of his mm. paintings. That's it. The commercial breaks are that. So, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't use it enough. I think people, it's just like another streaming service, really. But it's, it's, it was bound to happen. You know, they, they're slowly moving it that way. Luckily, though, I to talk on the point we were in here, I am a fan of this setup for a few reasons. So, the XFL we keep comparing. It was the last. It's the last big attempt, like what the USFL is doing. So let's look back to two point mm. You know, so you have scheduling conflicts. Okay, if you've set a set in stone schedule like they did, and like others have in the past, not saying it's just them. There's others too. You are stuck with what's there. You, you know, unless you get are able to get that flexibility in terms of broadcasting groups. Odds are, since you're not the broadcast group that's also handling the league, much like Fox is. You kind of don't dictate that. So setting it in stone means that there might be a good matchup that ends up on a small oh, channel. Yeah. This basically says, you know what? NBC and Fox are hand in hand. Also, Fox owns this, meaning the flexibility is on us. We get to set what goes on. So they did it like college football is what mm-hmm. I understand, meaning the game that in terms of ratings, I standpoint in terms of the broadcaster standpoint. The games that they think will have the best ratings, they'll put them on week three and after on the mm-hmm. main channels. So it is basically promoting you to hopefully have the best ratings to impress the most amount of advertisers to make it look that much better and to get it a better appeal than if you're throwing up some, you know, eight versus seven <laughs> overall seed right, game. Right, right, right. And we have to watch that NBC and go, that's the only thing right. we've got really, you know, I have to go buy a cable package to go watch like, you know, the top two division guys face off. That's what it's avoiding. So I like that. I'm, I'm a you big know, fan. Plus playoff implications. You can put it on those chances. Absolutely. Too. Absolutely. You yeah. know, it, it does, it adds beyond the uh, competitive element, right? It, it just adds all sorts of different elements to this, that they're, they're at least taking their opportunity to experiment with it all. 
Will we see this season yep. two? Maybe not. Maybe we'll see it. Maybe we'll see it even more. I don't know. But I they they were smart too. One thing they also did is all of the teams get one of the top networks in the first two weeks, right? So yes. they at least made sure that every one of these teams is getting some maximum exposure, just in case you have. And I'll say it, the Detroit Lions of the USFL come out and, you know, they're always on Peacock or FS1, which again, I mean, at the end of the day is not even a horrible thing, but let's be honest, Fox and NBC, those are the, those are the sweet spots. That's where you, you want, you want your mama and dada to be watching that one. You know what I mean? That's, that's where your moolah is going to oh, yeah. come They're in. Selling those yeah, NFTs, brother, the, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh 